Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a great day so far and welcome if this is your new video in my new filming space. As I said in yesterday's video or whenever, I always say this and then my videos go up in a different order and everybody's confused, especially me. But if this is your first time, this is my new filming space. I have completely revamped and rejigged and moved everything around and hopefully you love it as much as I do. I definitely miss my window and I know some of you guys are going to miss my window as well so I am sorry that we had to cover it but it was just causing me endless issues with lights and reflections and things like that and it was just it was really playing havoc with my quality so I hope you can understand why we had to say goodbye maybe occasionally I mean it's still there it's still hanging out behind my blind but occasionally maybe we can open it back up and live our memories, live our best life through the window. Now, this is what I want to talk about today. This is Hourglass's new, new, inverted commas, that's how we're going to go about that. This is their new Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 2. Now, I wanted to talk about this because I feel like we need to talk about it. I feel like it needs to be spoken about. I was very excited when I saw this promo picture of this Hourglass palette. If you don't know, to give you some background into Hourglass, I've been talking about Hourglass and their lack of inclusivity for deeper skin tones for a long time, many times. Many of you have got sick to death of me banging on about it, but I just feel like we need to continue to push brands and really ask brands to do better. I feel like people have been crying out for improvements when it comes to inclusivity shade ranges for years now for forever I guess in reality but it has definitely come to more of a head in the last few years and I think that was kind of triggered initially by Fenty coming out the gates with their amazing 40 shades in their foundation the first release the first drop no I will add shades later but here it is here's your inclusivity from the fairest of the fair skins to the deepest of the deep skins they had it all and that really just lit a fire under everybody that hey if a brand new brand with their first release their first foundation the first drop can do this then obviously all of you are just choosing not to and you actually could have done that too so I think it kind of just really brought lit a fire under everybody and motivated us to actually realize that this is easily possible and it's more of a choice and refraining from improvements than it is an impossibility or a, a real budgetary restraint or something like that if a brand new brand were able to do it straight out the gate especially when it comes to large established brands such as Hourglass who clearly have been going for a long time and would certainly have the ability and the means to extend shade ranges and improve shade ranges so Hourglass is definitely one that's kind of springs to mind when you think of lacking inclusivity in 2021. We've talked about it a long time I asked you guys what you wanted me to do if you just wanted me to pretend the brand no longer exists stop talking about them stop reviewing their products stop showing their products and just completely close down on the brand or whether you wanted me to keep talking about it and I feel like it's very different and people are going to think some of you are going to think don't give them your money don't buy their products don't review it don't speak don't even look directly at them and I hear you that's definitely got its validity as far as a tactic but I think for me and I think that's a really great one as a consumer as well as a consumer to not buy their products if you don't support their behaviors and their morals and their ethics then I think that's the best way to go with as a consumer vote with your money as you know we are very very powerful as an entirety of consumers who shop and spend a lot of money on makeup to take that away from them that's hitting them where it hurts I, I totally agree with you but as a creator with a platform I do feel that it's more powerful for me to talk about it to continue to call them out to point it out to let people know what's going on who don't maybe have Instagram who may have not even seen the campaign pictures who may don't even know that Hourglass has an issue with inclusivity and all of the stuff that's been going on behind the scenes with Hourglass I think it's more powerful for me to actually speak about it and it's very hard to do that without the products in my hands so that's my reason for showing you the product today because it's very hard you know and it would be easy I think as well for for Hourglass or people who are supporters of Hourglass and don't feel that they're in the wrong here to say well I'm sure it does work for deeper skins or I'm sure they are doing better without me having the products to show you so that is why the products in my hands 
to show you today. So what am I banging on about? So Hourglass, yes, they have an issue with inclusivity. We've been asking them to increase their shade range, particularly when it comes to their ambient lighting powders, because that's their like grade A, their standout products. That is their flagship products. They're kind of unique to Hourglass. No other brand really has anything like it. It's one of their best of the best products that people just love. And it's been, you know, around for a very, very long time, like in the earliest of YouTube days. I remember Jaclyn Hill talking about their luminous highlight powders in her bridal makeup tutorial. I mean, that was back in the day, wasn't it? This has been a long, long time that we've loved these powders. And we've been crying out saying, guys, we need deeper shades. We need deeper shades in these powders. Then they began bringing out their holiday palettes. And again, we were saying, guys, we want a deeper palette. Bring out two palettes next year, please. A light to medium and a medium to deep or a tan to deep and a light to medium. We need two palettes every year. We, they continue to ignore it and they continue to bring out one palette that would work for sort of fair to medium skin tones and no one really deeper than that. And I think as the years go by, as other brands really work to improve their inclusivity and in adding shades and adding ranges and when they bring out new foundations, the ranges are far better than their previous ones and you can see the work and the learning and the growth from so many brands. And when brands don't release inclusive ranges or fair ranges or don't work at their inclusivity, they they are now really getting dragged and called out and pressured. Beauty Blender springs to mind. Tarte springs to mind. Whereas Hourglass have just kind of been ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it. They don't speak about it. They don't comment. They haven't really released, well, they haven't released any kind of comment or statement explaining themselves or telling us it's coming or why, what the reason is. I mean, there is no reason, but I'd love to hear what reason they would like to give, at least. So this all came to a head if you like, towards the end of last year when Samantha Ravendal, I'm sorry, I'm gonna completely butcher her last name, but gorgeous Samantha on YouTube and on social media, very successful creator. She publicly called out Hourglass on Twitter and said that she had previously had a conversation with a rep from Hourglass about their Lumi Sheer Perfect, whatever the trio is called. It's their bronze highlight and blush cream palette that was very very popular and she had asked Hourglass why don't you bring this out in more shades it's an amazing incredible product we need more than one shade you know we need to cater to more people what's the deal with this product why is it only in one shade and they had said that they hadn't expected this product to be so popular and therefore that's why they only brought the one shade out and then they re-released it reformulated it this year i believe or last year now and yet again brought out that exact same shade so that led samantha to say well hang on a minute all the time ago when i asked you why this was only in one shade and why you weren't catering to more skin tones you said you weren't expecting it to be popular well what's your excuse this time because you now know it's incredibly popular it is one of your most popular products and you've reformulated it and rejigged it and re-released it still in that same shade so what's your excuse this time so she kind of called them out and asked them why they hadn't brought it back with a few different colors for different skin tones. So I don't believe Hourglass publicly responded, but Samantha did update saying that she had had a conversation with the brand and that it was a disappointing conversation, essentially. The conversation wasn't what you'd want, where they were listening, trying to learn, taking on the feedback on board, where they had something, you know, to say that it's coming, that they're working on it, that there were delays maybe because of Corona. It, that wasn't how the conversation went, essentially. I think from the sounds of what she said, it was there was just no real evidence that they were trying to make an effort to improve or that they had any plans to improve their shade range and their inclusivity at all. So it basically led to Samantha saying she's not gonna support the brand anymore, she's not gonna be reviewing them, using them, and she wouldn't suggest that anybody else does really either. So that was pretty embarrassing for Hourglass, for a creator that size to be calling him out. And this again, it relit that fire and really kind of drew the eye of Sauron straight out Hourglass's, what are you gonna do now, guys? And that's where we left it. So then imagine my surprise when this image cropped up as this is our new product with this stunning, deep skinned, beautiful goddess as the cover model and our brand new ambient lighting palette that clearly is an answer to the demands for products for deeper skin. Here it is. Here is a product at last for deeper skin tones. That's clearly what that marketing image is 
aimed to say, especially given all of the pressure that they've been experiencing, and especially that as this is marked as volume two, it's a second to their volume one, which is obviously for lighter to medium skin tones like all of their powder products are. And here is the deeper version that you've been waiting for. And then this arrives. This is what this product actually looks like. Now to make matters worse, I know that some people will say, well, this is deeper than volume one. And you're right, this is definitely a hair deeper than volume one, but this isn't new. This is three existing shades. So they in no way have extended their shade range or brought a product that's gonna work for deeper skin tones than the products they already have. No, no, no. They've just put three of their existing shades in a palette one being a very, very light bronzer and then used a deep skinned, glorious woman in the advertising image to suggest that this is going to work for deeper skin tones. Imagine that. So the shades in this palette, this is soft light, which we first met in the unlocked palette. So that is this shade up here is what's in there. That's the same shade. This is the unlocked palette that came out initially, um, I keep saying last year and it's so confusing, in holiday 2019, this initially came out and then they re-released it this year as a quad that consisted, oh, I mean, it's too confusing, but the bronzer, the finishing powder and the blush. So this bronzer, and this finishing powder from the Unlocked palette and also from the Sculpture Quad because the Sculpture Quad was this palette in a mini size with four of these shades. So if you have the Sculpture Quad or you have the Unlocked palette, then that is the same shade that you already have and the bronzer is the same shade that you already have. So this is Soft Light, this is Golden Bronze Light, those are the two out of Unlocked or Sculptures Quad. And then this in the middle is Radiant Light, which is a pre-existing permanent single shade. It was also in their Holiday 2013 trio like this. So none of these powders are new, none of these powders are an improvement of their existing shade range and looking at this none of these powders are going to work for deeper skin tones than the powders they already have the only way that this palette is going to work on anyone with like a deeper skin tone than mine like i'm an nc30 this bronzer doesn't really bronze me like it vaguely barely just about does when I pick up the sun in summer, this no longer bronzes me. I can't use the unlocked palette. It's a bit too light for me in summer, a white lady. Too light for me in summer. Go okay, figure that. So this is the only shade in here that someone with any kind of depth to their skin tone is going to be able to use at all as a finishing powder. So that's one of three. What we're we doing with these because these are not highlights or anything like that. These are finishing powders. And the description of this product on Hourglass's website states that this palette you can finish and contour and sculpt the face with. Well, obviously nothing in here is gonna do that for someone with deeper skin. And it's certainly not going to do that for the model in the image. So to me, it's incredibly misleading to have placed this product next to that beautiful model in their image shot and have any suggestion that this is going to work on someone with that skin tone because in my opinion it just really isn't going to and that was a really cheap shot as a way of saying oh look we're catering to people with deep skin tone because we've used a deep skin toned model <gasps> aren't we doing great no, you've done literally nothing other than use a woman with deep skin to trick people into buying a product that won't work for them and to trick people into thinking a brand is trying to do better when actually they're making things way, way worse. So I'm not gonna be using this or putting this on my face because what would really be the point? Ultimately, if you have a light to medium skin tone and you've bought a product from Hourglass before, say this one, the Unlocked palette, you already have two out of the three 
that are in this new one. If you have the sculpture palette, for example, you have the exact, almost the exact same thing. In fact, the bronzer in here is much better of a bronzer than the one in here. If you have deeper skin, this isn't gonna do anything more for you than any of these products I've already spoken about. And if you don't own anything from Hourglass, as their sculpture products are now in the sale and greatly reduced, you're much better off picking them up for half the price of this one. So I really don't think anybody needs to purchase this or anybody should be purchasing this. We've all got it already and if this was supposed to be an improvement to the shade range or a product that people with deeper skin could use, it's definitely a fail in that respect. So yeah, that's how we feel about it. So I'm just gonna show you some swatches so that you can show, see what I mean. And just in case anybody feels that because these are finishing powders, they don't need to you know, have a different a range of skin tones or they don't need to have a range of shades. I just want to explain that I started off using dim light from Hourglass in winter and I can't use this shade because the undertone or something is off and it does show. It changes the colour of your face makeup. It does leave a cast if you pick up the wrong shade of this. So yes, it's a finishing powder, but they do have like a colour and they do have some coverage there. So it will absolutely lighten the skin of someone with say a medium to tan skin tone. Anyone deeper, anyone medium to tan or deeper, this is going to leave a cast unless you solely use this one if you are around a tan skin tone, you may be able to solely use this one. But if you're mixing them together, it's gonna to leave a cast, it's gonna lighten your base. If you are deeper, then whatever you do, even just using this, it's going to leave a lighter cast. So here are the shades on my fingers. This is the bronzer, can't just move one finger. This is the bronzer, this is that middle radiant light, and this is soft light. So soft light, radiant light, golden bronze light. So you can see what I mean, that there's a fair amount of colour here, soft light, radiant light and golden bronze light. Golden bronze light, as you can see on me right now, that gives me a pretty subtle bronzy effect. This shade is even a little light for me. This shade is about right, I feel like I could, I'll just mix these two together and that will be a good shade for me and I can use this as a bronzer. I, in summer, feel when I'm a, like a medium to tan, I will be able to mix these all together and get a finishing powder. So please tell me what someone with deep skin, someone with a similar skin tone to the woman they used in their promo picture is going to do with these shades. So there you have it guys. I hope you understand why I wanted to talk about this palette in the way that I am today. And not just, not really talking about the palette, but the way that it was launched and the misleading image and the whole, just tone deaf, complete mismark of what on earth is going on at Hourglass right now. I hope you understand why I wanted to talk about it. And please let me know. I, I really wanna hear you guys out and I really want to know you guys' opinion. If this is the last time you ever wanna hear or hear me speak Hourglass's name, mention it, talk about their products, whether like this or reviewing them, then I'm absolutely here for that and I'm here to hear here to hear you, I'm here to hear you and understand what the right thing is to do. For from, from my perspective, I feel like the right thing, the thing that I have the most impact and power that I can use with my channel and with my platform is to talk about this as we have done today and get the conversation going and let people know why it's a problem and talk about you know what they did wrong here as if, you know, I'm, we don't know. But if we think, if the general consensus is that actually the right thing here is just radio silence, then I'm willing to consider that too. I just feel like that's probably not the, the most impactful thing that I can do. Being a smaller channel, you know, I don't have a, an hourglass rep to talk to and they're not going to give, you know, a flying fish if I tell them I don't want their PR, they've never given me any anyway. So I don't have that power that I can say, oh, I'm not working with you anymore and I'm not going to 
accept your PR and I'm not gonna, they don't care about me. They don't have no idea who I am. So I don't have that power that like Samantha does. And as a consumer, yes, I cannot give them my money, but I think for me, being a smaller creator who, who might get a few thousand people see the video, then I feel like that's the best thing that I can do, but I'm, my ears are always open. I'm always here to, to hunt and understand what you guys think is the best thing that I can do, but yeah. An incredibly disappointing start to 2021 from Hourglass with just really more of the same, but marketed in an incredibly misleading way to make it look like it isn't more of the same and to make it look like they heard us and they're working on it and it, stuff is coming. And I just feel like it's just really gross. It's pretty gross Hourglass. So there you have it, as always, love to know what you guys have to say about all of this I um my mind I just I find it I just I'm speechless I really don't know what the hell they were thinking I don't know what they were thinking I don't know who's who would be responsible for this and the really disappointing thing is is that everybody especially when people because I think off the image people might think so many people might have bought this and thought yes they listened and here's a product for me and then they're going to be so disappointed when it arrives and it isn't what they thought and they've been misled and like kind of tricked into purchasing something that really wasn't catering to them and really in the most disgusting way so I, I've already seen people once they've looked and, and found out what shades existing shades are in here people there's noise already happening of people saying what are you doing this isn't new this isn't an improvement this isn't what we were asking for and as usual what we've seen from Hourglass is just nothing no statement no answer no reply no nothing just we can't hear you <laughs> that's how, what I feel like Hourglass is going to do that's what they've previously done and yeah I don't I just have no like expectation that we'll see any kind of response to this at all and to everybody calling them out and to everybody telling them how we feel about this I just think they're just going to stay so shame on you hourglass so there you have it thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and I would love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.